What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrail.com. Today, we're going to be checking out the UWS Under Tano Tool Chest. So, it's like a toolbox, except it doesn't sit up on the rails. It's going to sit underneath in your bed so that your tunnel cover can go back over it. And you can still use them both at the same time. Let's check it out. Now, if you don't like the color of that one, it's not really matching your truck. There's also an aluminum version, too, you can get. So, if you think that goes with your truck a little bit better, there is that option. Now, the main feature of this is going to be pulling over the tonneau cover over the chest. And you see, locks in just fine. It doesn't make any contact. There's no wear or any hitting of the box. There's actually plenty of space between the tonneau cover and the box underneath there, so you're not in any danger of it scraping the top. There's a bunch of different style tonneau covers, so how yours works and the access you're given to your toolbox may vary, especially depending on what vehicle you're gonna put in, what kind of truck bed it is, how big that is, how much space you have. So we have a tri-fold tonneau cover. Now this one is unique because it folds back the front panel. So that gives us access to our toolbox right here. So we can get into it when we need to, which that makes it nice. Other ones that this will work good with is gonna be a roll-up tonneau cover. So then you can just roll it up to the front. Your tonneau cover will be stored up here, giving you plenty of room to open up this lid and the tonneau cover's out of the way, but it can still sit under the air when it's rolled out. Then there would be the canister style, which it doesn't really work great with. I have put it in a few trucks where it does fit, but the canister tonneau cover usually takes up about this much space. So that means it's gonna push the tool chest this further out. So then it's more in the middle of your bed. So that's taking up quite a bit of space, but if you're okay with that, it can still work in that scenario as well. Open up the lid. We can look at the inside of the box. It's gonna have 8.85 cubic feet of space. So that's good for all our containers here of tools. It keeps all those little things together. And I don't have to go looking for anything when I need it. It's not scattered around the bed or in the inside of the truck. It's all right here. We even have a tow strap down there too to use. So I like that it's all contained. Now we did try to put a five gallon bucket in there. That didn't quite fit. But like I said, cases like this for the tools, plenty of room for that and then keep it all together. It's gonna have a twist style handle. You have two of them and they work in tandem. So when you turn this one, it's gonna turn the other one at the same time. And that's what's gonna unlock the lid. One nice thing is the lid doesn't pop up right away. This just unlatches it. You have to lift the lid up just a little bit before the gas struts kicked in and fully open it. The handles work together. So they're gonna turn at the same time. I like that. So whatever side you're on, you can open up the lid. Something to note is that the locks don't work in unison. So just to show you what I'm talking about, both handles do lock. If I lock the passenger side over here, handle's locked, can't open the lid, but I have to come back here and unlock this side. I cannot unlock the passenger side from the driver's side. On the inside of the toolbox, you're gonna have 8.85 cubic feet of space to work with. So just keep that in mind with whatever kind of tools you wanna to put in here. It is kind of shallow. It's not as big as the other toolboxes, but it still work to hold those tools in place. Maybe a shorter toolbox you can drop in there and lock it up that way. It's all organized right here in the bed and you can lock it up when you're not around. Looking at the lid here, I wanna show you that the striker here can be adjusted. You can loosen these nuts and move it side to side. If it's not closing quite right when you go to close it, that is something that can be adjusted and fixed. I've had to do it on other toolboxes as we use them over and over. Sometimes it just slides over slightly and it's nice that you can fix that yourself without having to get a whole new box. Speaking of that, we have the gas struts right here on the side. They are on the sides of the box. The lid is going to be foam injected, so it's not just hollow. So that's going to help keep its structure and shape. So if you go to set something kind of heavy on top, you don't have to worry about it indenting or causing any issues to the lid itself. It also insulates the box. And then we have a foam seal that goes around the outside that just kind of helps the elements not get in there as easily. Now, another thing that helps that is when you close it, I'm going to show you, it doesn't just stop here because then that would be level with the top. It actually goes down a little bit further, so it's gonna be harder for the elements to go up and then in. The whole outside is gonna be a black powder coat aluminum. It's got a diamond pattern on there, which I like. It's not the glossy black. I think that shows scratches and dents a lot easier than this style does. So if you were to scratch it just a little bit, you got the diamond pattern, and since it's that matte black, it's not gonna stick out. As far as insulation goes, that is something you're gonna to have to scout out the bed of your truck. You can get the mounting hardware separate, but just be careful when you're looking where you're gonna mount it for where you're drilling those holes in the bed of your truck. You don't wanna drill through anything under there that you might regret. Let's go over some measurements, make sure it's gonna work with you and your truck. So it's gonna be 47 and 13 16 long. It's gonna be 24 and 3 8 wide. It's gonna be 16 and 5 6 deep. Overall, I think it's a nice addition to your truck when you have the tonneau cover. If you didn't have the tonneau cover, I would recommend one of the ones that goes up and over the bed instead. You just get more space. It's easier to open those, but 
The whole reason you're checking this out is because you have a tonneau cover. So I think it works great in combination. It's nice that I don't have to pick one or the other in the back of the truck. And in this setup, the scenario we have today, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space at the front. So you can still use the back of your truck for whatever you want to haul. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope this helped.